Good morning. Here's what you need to know. Republicans are increasingly tilting their tax bill to benefit wealthy Americans, in an effort to shore up the support of lawmakers who want more help for high-earning business owners. Party leaders in the Senate can afford to lose only two votes for the measure to pass. We look at the seven Republicans who oppose or have expressed concerns about the plans. Congress would ultimately have to reconcile differences in the Senate and House bills. Republicans hope to do that in time to send a final version to President Trump by Christmas. On Monday, two acting directors of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau showed up for work. One brought donuts. Mick Mulvaney, President Trump's appointee, who stopped at Duncan on the way in, and Leandra English, a holdover from the Obama administration, are engaged in a messy dispute over who will lead the agency. Here's what each party says. The leadership battle is the most recent example of the new anti-regulatory approach in Washington. We looked at how, a decade after the financial crisis, the federal government is easing its policing of Wall Street and banks. Tens of thousands of Puerto Ricans have arrived in the continental U.S. In the two months since Hurricane Maria devastated their island. Many are professionals and other young people who would be essential to helping Puerto Rico recover. Their departure has prompted soul-searching about what responsibility they bear. The Puerto Rican way of life is gone as we know it, said a law school student now in New York. This is a fact, separately, we took an aerial tour of Barbuda, which was completely evacuated after Hurricane Irma and now faces an uncertain future. President Trump transformed a White House ceremony to honor Navajo veterans of World War II into a racially charged controversy on Monday deriding Senator Elizabeth Warren with his favorite nickname for her. Watch it here, you were here long before any of us were here, Mr. Trump told the veterans, ages 90 and older. Although we have a representative in Congress who, they say, was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. Ms. Warren once identified herself as a minority, citing Native American roots. Native American leaders quickly criticized the president's remark, which the White House defended. We look at the fight for control of the regulator. Listen on a computer, an iOS device or an Android device. We revisited the glory days of Time Incorporated, the venerable magazine publisher, the day after it agreed to sell itself to the Meredith Corporation. On Monday, Time employees demanded to know whether Charles and David Koch, the billionaire brothers who helped seal the $2.8 billion deal, would compromise their editorial integrity. The Koch's are known for their support of conservative causes. Chock full o nuts coffee is not chock full o nuts. In fact, it doesn't contain any. Convincing consumers has been a marketing challenge. The price of a single Bitcoin crossed $10,000 on some exchanges for the first time on Monday, leaving critics and enthusiasts alike stunned by the soaring value of the virtual currency. U.S.